Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we are taking a look at a revision of a favorite, um, at least the views have anything to say about it, um, the Atom Kit Lego Keyboard. In case you guys don't remember, this is the Atom 60. I still actually have it stock. I like it this way. Um, I did have feet on it. Uh, but I took it off for right now to compare because I need the, the new one that I'm getting ready to build. I haven't opened it yet. The new one does have some updates and I'm excited to take a look at them today. All right, so uh, this keyboard is created by Boyu. Um, he's the designer. He um, used to work in automotives, um, automotive design, but he moved into keyboards and he's worked for a couple of different companies. It's a nostalgic and for me retro thing so I thought that this design the first one it was a cool little build and it's a great little keyboard but I think that the updates in this one and what Boyu has in, in the pipeline is going to be quite interesting so let's go ahead and uh, without further ado open it up and see what we got all right so, and opening the box we see that we have it looks like we actually get a little Lego dude with this one. Huh. I gotta say that's actually uh, pretty cool. So, it looks like he's got his own little platform. I don't... Oh, he's got a helmet, not a head. I think. Oh, that's interesting. That definitely did not come in the first one. Oh, okay, there's his head. He looks like a little robot. Or a Minecraft guy? I don't know. Huh. This is going to be interesting. So we've got gray and white keycaps. And it looks like this is a mix. But we'll see. And then we have gray. The original one was an off-white. But this one is gray. The switches appear to be the same. Yeah, these are Leo Bog. The um gray something. I don't know, they're in the first one. They're actually they're lightweight yet very decent linear switch. It has a long pull stem, uh, probably I would say 3.6 um, travel, and it has a satisfying bottom mount. Uh -oh. They're S2, okay. These are S2 made by Leo Bog. They have a palm stem, total travel of 3.6, pre-travel 1.5, operation force of 40 grams lifetime 60 million cycles so it is what it says it is 12 square where this comes in then we have a pieces for a section and then B. we have the stabs stabby and here we have the stabilizers ready to go um, they are already actually lubricated so maybe we don't they're pre-lubricated and they don't appear nope they don't need to be clipped huh all right that's a uh, interesting ad now I, I gotta say the presentation is a super cool i love this it really does feel like all right i'm getting you know one of my star wars lego and i'm gonna build it but this is even cooler because I got a keyboard at the end. So more pieces. All right. Oh, we got a wrist press. Part of the, one of these is going to be a wrist press. Maybe this one. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. And then we've got 1001 Kid Adam. All right. So that's, I guess, how they're calling the new model. So this gives us the step-by-step -step instructions. 
that we'll be following to go ahead and build this. And we've got the PCB. Oh, and we've got even more. All right, let's go. Ah, those might be gaskets. You know, this looks like it has different gaskets. It's a gasket mount, 10 point suspension, adaptive mounting angle. Oh. All right, piqued my interest. South facing, the USB is on the um, board, but there's plenty of room in the opening for there to uh, be some flex. This will accept screw on stabilizers, as it appears. Let's see about the plate. This is the, uh, uh, the um, let's say, uh, it could be a pour on. Uh, with an EVA top. This is for dampening between the plate and the PCB. We've got a keycap puller. These could be the gas. Oh, no. not sure what those are. These could be the gaskets, but I'm not sure yet. And this is the plate. The plate might have enough space for screwing stabilizers. That would be something I'll have to take a look at when I come back to it. So I do see that the base appears to have remained the same in two different pieces. I'm going to assume that that's a manufacturing limit and that's the biggest width um, or length, I guess you should say, of plate that they can get. So um, I know some people said it, it bowed on them. I didn't have that issue. So let's hope that whatever is done here has helped change. So, uh, A, B, C, D, I, I do like, I mean, he does have a, a nice design language, and it even reads through on the uh, documentation. A, assemble the core. B, build the case. C, test and set up. D, create and customize. Cool. So, all right. Uh, core contains one plate, one PCB, and one poron piece. Although the switches do not belong to the core, they're important structural parts. It's easier to handle the stabies, stabilizers first. So, I guess we will be building the main part of the keyboard. Keyboard. We're going to build the keyboard, the keyboard first. Now, I'm just going to do it in stock, but again, I will come back and test to see if screw on stabilizers will work with this plate. All right, so this appears to be the right way. And it says basically. Put on the stabilizers, which is the stag stabby. Stabby. Pushing on the stabilizers, and I like to always make sure so they're properly tightened and causing no issues in the future that this little tab, oh, see, they come out. If this little tab's not pushed out, that locks them into place. It's a little tab, just click, and then, all right. And these are nicely placed on there. And because they're pre-lubed, we're not gonna have to worry about that. I gotta say, boy, I like that. Good job. All right, we've got that there. Let's uh, go ahead and punch out the pieces of this poron. All right. So now it's time to build the core. We've got the poron dampener for between the plate and the PCB. And we've got the plate. And we're going to go ahead and use the switches, the S, S squared engine, linear palm 3.6 millimeter, 1.5. 40 grams of force. I don't usually like the switches this light, but these are good. They they remind me a lot of silvers, which I'm fond of, and they're light as well. So when I do use switches as anchors, I like to go into the corners first to provide almost like an anchor. And that's what the switches are being for the entire assembly. 
but that makes sure to bring the plate up to level for the rest of the switches. Let me try to go caddy corner. Now, if these were five pin, they would they would help in in attaching a little better. But once we get a few on, it'll be easy. And once you get a few in, the rest start going in pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the rest of these. So we have the core built, and it's a pretty solid, nice little sandwich. And it already, already giving hints that it's going to be sounding very nice indeed. Um, and I actually have an extra switch. Uh, last time I had exactly the right amount. Um, I know I for, when I first looked at it, I was like, that doesn't look like enough switches, but it was. Um, now I got an extra one that I can play with and maybe make a franken switch from. So now it's time to build the case. We're going to need bottom cases, uh, bottom pieces of the case, which looks to be the same as the other one or the first one. But we're dealing with gray this time. Now we've got to take the pieces that are. Looks like the pieces we need are in both bags, so... Now, to uh, disclaim, these aren't LEGO parts, they're LEGO compatible bricks. And, um, not sure if I already said it or disclaimed it or not, but boy, you sent me uh, this kit in exchange for an honest review. Alright, so now we've got the sound pad latex in here. Uh, this is the dampening pad. This also is an upgrade from uh, the first Ken Adam. Now, let me see. Now, I think what I'm going to do, um, I don't know if this is the only color, but this color matches the original um, kit better. This wrist press. So, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and just build this straight, and then I'm going to come back and add this to the original kit Adam and see if um, anything I learned along the way of building this um, is going to come in handy. Because there aren't the instructions, and I know I've been wanting to take the other Adam apart anyway, so I'll probably do a mod video and also build the wrist rest into that. But I'm going to go ahead and continue building this, making sure it's nice and flat. So now I've got the dampening layer. And I've got the uh, gasket set. So now, let's see, step number six. Back. 
it's gonna sound pretty good. But that's kind of what I was expecting. All right, so now these make a lot more sense. go ahead and load up the key caps. So here we are with the Kit Atom R2. Um, I gotta say, I do like the uh, the new colorway. The key caps uh, appear to be the same color as they were previously. So, I mean, I know that the, you know, the beige, I guess, matches up a little bit better than the gray does. But the language is still there. It's still got a very retro language. Like I said, I'm going to use this one to put the rest rests together because I know I have to take these apart. Um, and while I'm, when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and mod this one. And then I have a base one to compare to. Now, I did kind of cheat on this one. I did put the feet on, but I also put these nubs. I do prefer, even if it's a little bit the slightest typing angle, I've been using this flat and it was just, eh. I mean, I have bigger ones, but this is just, this is enough to where when I use a wrist rest, it's not going to hurt. Now, they do sound very similar. This one may sound a bit more muted, perhaps because of the, um, the dampening layer that we do have in there now. But it still, as a stock keyboard, sounds lovely. The stabs actually sound much better in this one than they yeah I mean they didn't sound horrible but uh, these came uh, pre-lubricated and as before I don't believe they did but uh, I also I gotta say I like the the two little guys they kind of do remind me of Minecraft it's cool that they include these two little characters to build and and I've got to say that that the entire experience has been um, a lot of fun like it was on the previous one I when my kids were younger I did you know get the, the smaller boxes the 20 $25 boxes for for smaller kits and and I enjoyed playing with my kids and as they grew up obviously they they got bigger and more um, interesting kits especially my son he he had a lot of the, um, the Star Wars kits but um, it's been years since I've played Lego with them and and I forgot just how much fun it was when I was a kid. Um, Legos, I, I had Legos. I didn't have that many. and um, But any chance that I got, I got a new set. And I loved how much my imagination just could soar. You know, even from a few pieces, I'm going to build this. You know, even if it was something silly, a chair, a gun, a TV, whatever. I was making things taking my imagination and making it real it was almost like 3d printing in the 80s <laughs> um obviously uh, more to pixel ratio but uh i i think that a big part of this keyboard because i mean honestly comparatively you can find a lot of 60 percent plastic keyboards for this price or higher um, and they're just going to be a very basic, you know, standard run-of-the-mill kit that this brings the fun and the excitement. I mean, you really are building a keyboard. Not saying that other keyboard kits are not building. I mean, you're assembling more to a certain degree, but this you're building from pieces. So um, I completely, I, I just, I love the experience that the Atom brings. And I mean, I just... I don't know. Um, I am now that I have another one. I am definitely going, going to probably with this one go ahead and mod it, uh, change out the switches, change out the keycaps. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test. This one, um, the the Kit Atom R2 in gray, the new color that's now available on their website. This one's still available as well, and I do believe they include the things they include in this one. So. Um, 
you know, the, the, the improvements um, go for both. Um, and from talking to Boyu, the designer, uh, he has some really cool ideas moving forward um, that has to do with modularity. And I, I think it's, I think it's going to be interesting. I want to see how he pulls it off uh, before letting off too much about it. But like I said, I'm going to leave you guys with stock sound test of the Kit Atom R2. Uh, I'll come back when I come to mock this one, and I will do the um, the rest rest because uh, this one it integrates and I know it swivels so and it has one for each side so it should be interesting so yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed the build I mean it's a it's a simple process I, I mean got to be hands on I, I thoroughly enjoyed it I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it but anyway um, until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on